Hello, YouTube. Okay, listen to this Rob Rants, okay, real quick. Uh, I thought I'd just sit down and talk to you guys for a quick couple of sec minutes. Um, you know, <laughs> I've been uh, kind of, you know, looking around on YouTube and stuff, and well, well, I've also been getting this kind of crap at school as well. Guess what? Racing? It's awesome, okay? You just watch ten minutes of it, and I can guarantee you almost it'll get your adrenaline is just running and pumping through you. This is for all you race hater, racing haters who are all sick and tired and call a call every NASCAR fan a hillbilly, or you call every IRL fan out there uh, saying that they're doing the easiest job in the world. Okay, if you think that racing is so easy. Go win an Indy 500. Go get your face in that board runner trophy. Or, or, or how about you go win a Daytona 500? Hmm? You think you can uh, race with other cars, 2x2x2, two by two by two, driving down the back stretch at two, over 200 miles per hour and pass with a restrictor plate on you, knowing every single, every single move you make could affect and trigger a big one and eventually probably kill you or someone else? Have that on your conscience while you're doing that. Or say if you're in an Indy 500, you try and go out there and win. You try not to touch wheels to wheels with someone. You go look at Ryan Briscoe. He'll tell you exactly everything he's talking about. Or you go talk to Vitor Mira. He'll tell you everything you're, he's talking about. So you guys, uh, you guys are sickening because some of these people, I mean, I'm not aiming it at generally everyone. Just the people who are out there to hate all forms of racing. I would really love to see one of you guys in a F1 car trying to tackle these road courses. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man, you'd be hitting those rumple strips and you'd be finishing last, I can guarantee you that right now. now I'm a fan of all types of racing, two wheels or four wheels, I don't care, frankly. If it's open wheel, fenders, or motorbikes, frankly, or even if it's drag racing, heck, I don't care, I watch it, and it's because it's racing. And that is what's awesome. If it's on wheels, I pretty much love it. If it was a sport that you raced lawnmowers on, I'd probably love it. But the things that are really getting to me is people at school, people at, on YouTube, people generally everywhere call every single NASCAR fan a redneck. Um, no, we're not. No, we're not, okay? They go to college. The, the, the drivers, they go to college. Ryan Newman. Daytona 500 champion went graduated for, from Purdue University. These people know what they're doing. You gotta know what you're doing because I would like to see you work on a, work on a several ton race car and then tell me that just try and work on it and then if you can get that car out and running, all right. And if you can get it a win, all right, you've proved me wrong. But you have to have special training in order to do that, and I highly doubt any. Half of the people who hate NASCAR even have that, or can even take a car apart and put it back together again. Now, frankly, I can't do that, but I'm learning, okay? I know car parts. I know the carburetors. I know how to... I know a lot of stuff. I can't say I'm super smart in cars, but I know a lot of stuff, okay? Uh, so, I can't say I'd work, be able to be a great engine engineer. I'd be, I can't say I'd work, be able to work on an engine, but I'd pretty much be able to race the car because I know how to, and it's fun. And, 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 and you know, here, how about this other thing? You, you all say that turn a wheel, oh, it's so hard, oh, uh, well, then wouldn't everyone be doing it? Try it. NASCAR and IndyCar wheels aren't as easy as your average highway wheel. This thing, it's jerking to the left all the time, you gotta keep it right there, you gotta hold your line, you can't break, you can't hardly, you, you never break when you're right there on Daytona or Indianapolis, and you're sitting there, you don't want to break. You, you know that you, when you break, you jack a car up behind you and everyone else goes spinning. You don't want to wreck, okay? And, and whatever you do there, something's gonna happen, and, 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 and I'd just like to see you try, okay, seriously. I would love to see half of the NASCAR haters, IndyCar haters, and Formula One haters, and motorbike haters out there that say it's so easy. Because I'm frankly sick of this, okay? NASCAR, you know, you know, you guys say this stuff about racing, we could say this stuff about football, basketball, baseball. Well, baseball is just hit a, hit a ball and run. How hard is that? Or football, snap a ball, throw it, run. 
or soccer, kick, run. Maybe uh, basketball, throw. You gotta be tall. Oh, 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 stretch yourself. Whatever. I could say that about all that stuff. But frankly, I happen to like football, ba bas baseball, and soccer. Basketball, ugh, can't stand it. But no offense to people who like basketball. I'm just not a big basketball fan, to be honest. Um, and I, but I don't criticize it. I'm not sitting here saying, boo, boo, I, I hate basketball, you know? I'm not doing that. No. I, I just don't like it. And that's fine if you don't like NASCAR, or racing, or IRL or something. But you don't have to say it's so easy. Because we can say the same thing about your sports that you like. Or tennis. Hit. Hit. I can say that. Frankly, I don't even know about tennis. I don't even know what you do to tennis. I don't even know what a lay is. Okay? So, but, but you don't see me criticizing tennis. Okay? I don't criticize any sport. I may be, I like football, I like bas baseball, and I happen to love soccer. I've played soccer, I've played baseball, Little League, and I've tried for football, but you know, I'm not the strongest or toughest kind of guy, so obviously I would fail. But still, I know, and I like football, okay? I have a Madden NFL games, okay? I'm not just some redneck who sits on his computer or sits on his butt all day playing games. No. I'm playing NASCAR games. I play football games, too. I play baseball games, okay? I do that kind of stuff. So you can't criticize me, okay? You can't criticize the entire racing community. Especially some of the people I've known, I go to school with, they're hurt, hate, hate me because I'm, well, when I wear my Kyle Busch shirt to school, eh, well, I kind of expect criticism. But I don't expect people insulting racing altogether. I've worn Marco Andretti shirt. Insult. That's stupid. I don't, I, when, when, you, when you wear a football jersey or something, I don't insult that. Or if you wear a basketball jersey, yeah, I could care less. I don't care. But you don't. But, but, but when I wear Kyle Busch or, or, or Casey Kane or Marco Andretti, you don't have to insult me. I mean, jeez. I'm not the most fashionable guy. Look at me. I'm sitting here wearing, still wearing my Sunday clothes. But... What? Who cares? Right? Who, who, who cares? Well, apparent, but apparently a lot of people. That's just what I'm ranting on today, because I'm frankly sick and tired of all the people out there who, who consistently criticize NASCAR and IndyCar and F1 and MotoGP and drag racing and just pretty much any sport that you get behind a wheel of. Because I would love to see half the people who say they can, who say it's so easy, just try it. I would love to see them on a pit crew trying to change those tires in a little under 15 seconds. I would love to see some of you try change tires in under 15 seconds and get all the lug nuts on there. Try. I would love to see that. I would frankly love it. Okay? So, this is my sign-off. To all you creeps or idiots out there who say that NASCAR and IndyCar and IRL and Formula 1 is so darn easy... Take into consideration what I just said, because I'm done. I said this... I, I, I've ranted on about Cobblish, but this is racing in general. I am an enormous racing fan, and I get all this crap every day, and this is me trying to stop it. Alright? So listen to what I have to say, and just... just take it. Just... show this to all your friends. I don't care if you rate. I don't care if you subscribe. I don't care if you favorite. Just... if you want to, go ahead. No one's telling you. So, that's my sign-off for today. Thanks for watching this Rob Rants. And hopefully, I just changed a whole ton of your views. So, later. No offense to anyone, but later.